Hey you guys, what up? It's your boy Tyson, son of Dennis, Crimson, Crimson. <laughs> I did that ad lib justice. But at any rate, real quick. All right, okay. Um, just in case I wanna go with this one too. All right, so at any rate, bro, I'm extra tail. So I'm high also. Um, so y'all, oh, this mixtape has been a struggle. Life been life and life has been a struggle. Oh my God. Adulthood is the ghetto. Ooh, child, the ghetto, the ghetto. But no, um, so I um already did this video earlier. Um, and then took an edible and was like, okay, I'm gonna repost it. Or um not pre repost, but you know, upload it and then watch some anime and chill out. And apparently I need a phone that's more than fucking 128 gigabytes. Especially before I start going back into doing content heavy and stuff. So at any rate, had to erase that video. It says Monday in the title. It was updated on Tuesday, and I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> we stick it to the theme, bitch. <laughs> so at any rate, hope y'all are doing good. I'm doing okay, I guess. Um, so I wanted to do this video because when I haven't seen y'all in a while. Number two, well, there's a couple reasons I'll discuss some of the other ones a little later, but. I haven't seen y'all in a while, and I did want to come here and give like a little, um, since the rollout of the tape went so long and just bugging me, <clears throat> I want to let y'all know, kind of behind the scenes of that. It's not be cool to talk about, plus kind of give y'all some insight on where I'm coming from with the mixtape and motivation, and things of that nature. So at any rate, um, that's enough of the intro. So to start off, who is Crimson? So, my mixtape, titled Crimson Contemplations, dropped officially May 3rd. We'll go on that a little later, because the drop did not go how I thought it was going to go. Um, but, Crimson, I would say, it was an alter ego of mine, that I would say is, um, you know, pretty much born out of rage. You know what I'm saying? Um... And I think we look at rage as, you know, this thing of chaos when, you know, there is a calm side um, to rage. You know what I'm saying? It's just like there's, you know, dark energy, light energy, masculine, or dark masculine, light masculine, vice versa with femininity, all that. And basically, Crampson is... a part of me in the way of I would say it kind of represents more so my my dark side um you know and emotions of anger things of that nature it's kind of that honed in to like something you know that's palatable for music um it's been very therapeutic throughout all of these last few weeks i really feel like the start of crimson happened last year and i've noticed that about some of my alter egos like merlo mickey um i redid Callie's song toss of chocolate and i um titled it um well no, i just did toss the clock chocolate but you know i flipped it you know caramel you know what i'm saying and um when that title when i released it it says merlo mickey that's specifically my alter ego rapping i think there's hints of that in my record ice me if you go back and listen you know it gives those same kind of vibes those songs um but at any rate so there are probably sprinkles of crimson here and there but it definitely became like a feasible physical thing this year I have been hit left and right. This mistake the states discusses everything from anger, regret, poverty, um, hell, financial ruin, um, betrayal, um, those feelings that we may not be as comfortable with portraying and displaying at times. 
and although I'm still working on, you know, the word feelings, you know, although I'm still working on that in person, um, I think my music has kind of helped me to acknowledge and be accountable in that way. And uh, it's good when your music can bring you, you know, personal development and growth. Um, with that being said, um, yeah, Clemson is just, you know, more so, I wouldn't even just say my dark side, I see more so the accepting of me and myself as far as, hey, I have a dark side like everyone else. I'm okay with it. In fact, I enjoy it sometimes. Sometimes I have to dip into that. You know, unfortunately, you can walk around this world being all smiles and gumdrops and rainbows with people if you want to. People will take that and stomp on it and spit on it. So, you know, it's nice to be able to accept that side of me. Because once you accept it, then you can hone it. You know, you don't have to. It's just like I talk about when, when I talk to black people about us in, you know, professional settings. There's a way to cuss somebody out without physically cussing them out. Um, you know what I'm saying? You can keep it real and still keep your job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Um, and quite literally, I've had to uh, maneuver, that, maneuver that these last few months. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's kind of like the breakdown of Crimson. Child, what I got versus what <laughs> I um, ordered. Oh, my God. I was supposed to drop it across the platforms. Excuse me on May 3rd that it didn't end up happening so um I was just like bruh like it's a lot going on behind the scenes and stuff like with my personal so just I didn't have the time I'm tired I'm still worn out from that tournament to be honest like at this point I just need a vacation like I have three days off if I didn't go on vacation I'm probably not gonna be as well rested like I think that's where I'm at mentally I just wanna take my head off leave the brain and then still operate and then come back and pick the brain up in two, three days. But nonetheless, I, um, I'm planning on doing something soon. I have to get comfortable with spending money. I don't think that's something we talk about <laughs> when you haven't had it for so long. <laughs> spending it kind of, you be up there like, do I need this? Do try even the grocery store five minutes trying to figure out if you need to pick up that extra shit you ain't come there for. But at any rate, I'm navigating that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, back to what I was saying, though. What I got versus what I ordered. It was supposed to be out on all platforms May 3rd. Um, I was supposed to have promo videos ready, all that stuff um, to promote on TikTok and Instagram. Which, that's another thing, like, bro, Walt Disney. Um, I think that's the one that had the lawsuit back in the 90s. Um, and they're the reason, a part of the reason why it's so hard to, you know, work with stuff that's copyrighted now. Like, and I've noticed over the years, it's gotten even worse. Like, okay, a couple years ago, I could have did a song with, I could have did a beat, a remix of a song. And if I didn't have the vocals of the person, I wasn't getting flagged. Now it doesn't matter if you have the artist vocals on it or not. Like, you know, sometimes you'll keep the hook or whatever. I always was under the impression that the vocals was what was copyrighted, not necessarily the beat. But I know for a fact, like, Cobra <laughs> is partially blocked, if I'm not mistaken. Hiss is partially blocked. Love you, Megan, but what are you doing, girl? All right, your version gonna be the OG, you know what I'm saying? You, you did your thing, you know, but damn, let me have my little remix. <laughs> and she ain't the only one, you know what I'm saying? I'm not singling her out. There's other artists too. Um, or their management companies, whatever the hell. But um, yeah, that it's it's made posting very much more frustrating. Like that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video too, so that way I can post to the socials as the promotion, because you can't actually excuse me. I went to go hell, I went to go post my own damn song that I just dropped. Um, go support, always on the run. <laughs> New single by me. 
Um, your boy getting into his singing bag. I'm singing, I'm doing R&B, you know. I'm not allowing myself to be boxed in. And it's a little anxiety doing that so early on. I know some artists want to develop a fan base and do that first, but you know, I'm also, I'm not, I don't give a fuck here. You know, I'm gonna make music that feels good to me. You know, I'm about to start shooting music videos and I'm definitely not gonna be paying for those and not enjoying the content that I'm talking about. So, you know, um, you might get a sex joke on a sad song and it's just cause that's how I felt like writing it at the time. Hell yeah, I have the time when I write it. I have the time, but a good chunk of the time. During Crimson, I think I was cause I was very depressed. So like, <clears throat> Um, yeah, that Delta 8 was my friend. <laughs> and this. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't necessarily, what's up in this Oh yeah, I, I just don't understand that. It's, it's getting annoying. Like I posted my own song and I, I wish that we would all be one of, on one accord. Yo, if you using the Juju site to get your beats, that's J-E-E. -E. J U H, you know, I've been using them since pretty much since I started. They're very affordable on top of everything, but you know what I'm saying? For $40, you get your own version of a beat. Now, um, and they also got exclusive beats, and then they got clearance, uh, a clearance side of the beat store as well. Um, and thank y'all for finally taking my recommendation to give us damn zip files for all the damn stems. Cause ain't nobody trying to download stem by stem. That was excruciating. Granted. I said in 2019, y'all ain't do it till 2022, but I'll take it either way it goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, recently they started doing that. That's been helpful. But my issue is, okay, so all of us are getting this same beat. Why the fuck are y'all marking y'all shit on these, on these websites? You're not going to be the only one to use that song. Now you're interfering with my shit. I don't like that. Because I feel like it should just be a common understanding that if you ain't getting the exclusive beat, don't be making your shit exclusive. Because now I can't put my shit certain where it is. So, certain places. So, I need to find me a new beat site. Um, now that I got a piece of a check, I might need to just start getting the exclusive ones only. Or, you know, as as time progresses, um, work with what I got for now. Because I, I still got two projects in front of me right now. I'm, I'm going to take a break after Crimson for sure. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's getting frustrating with posting music and, you know, trying to do promotions. Um... I mean, like, TikTok will block stuff and not even really give a real explanation. Like, AO, um, Always on the Run, got blocked. And all it is is a picture of a child in the ocean, a black child in the ocean running, and it's, like, blurred out. It's not like it's overdose, where it's literally a picture of pills. Like, I understood that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I went through and posted it with the anime meme instead, the emo, like, animal, the black emo boy with the dreads. That's why I post. If you see this on my TikTok, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, which the link for that should be in my flow code, which is down below. Um, I need to check to make sure that one is TikTok. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Um, but, yeah, um, that's why I did that because, you know, okay, content matter makes sense. But I don't know. Um, excuse me. But it ain't going to how I want it. But, hey. Um, I got some daps from my cousin and, you know, friends of mine and their opinions. You know, I'm always going to be confident in what I put out musically. Uh, I mean, we all have our duds looking back like, ugh, maybe I should have did that one. Maybe I should have scrapped this or said this differently or whatever. Um, and I have some of those on Crimson, you know, the way I should have. Oh, my God. Low is going to forever eat me up because now I've heard Scissors Low and she ate that damn track. And... I feel like I didn't do enough vocal layers, but neither here nor there. It is what it is. It's hot now. I'm not going backwards. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping this video on quote unquote Monday at midnight, quote unquote. And I'm going on with my business. I'm going to go watch the anime. Um, I don't need to get high because I already am. But yeah, um, it's just getting annoying with the uploading, the promotion. So I'm trying to find ways around that and navigate that. Because when I start doing these video, music, music videos, ain't nobody playing with y'all. Y'all not going to be blocking my music videos and shit. They cost money to make that. So if y'all know any good beat sites with some uh, exclusive beats that don't cost an uh, arm and a leg, you know what I'm saying? I ain't quite yet. We're there where I want to be spending 300 per beat. Um, now, if I, I have snatched a couple off of that um, Juju site because they was worth it. Um, and I had the $200, $300 at the time to spend it. But... Um, yeah, if somebody know, like, you know, maybe a site where it's $100 for the exclusive rights, I could, you know, drop something down below. But at any rate, 
so moving on from there um you know updates as far as like content i need a new camera or i need a phone Eventually, I'll look into getting a camera, but my first step is a new phone anyway. I think I have this one long enough. I don't know. I'm going back and forth because they got me eligible for like an iPad um, or a watch. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. But at any rate, I'm trying to figure out also. Do I want to go back to video style content? Oh shit. Um, I don't know where that earbud fell and I don't care. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to go back to video content or um, just start off with the podcast first. Um, and then I'm also thinking, okay, do I do video style podcasting? Because I'm not going to lie, those seem to get more perception than just putting the banner up. Or the cover art up and going on about my day i mean it, it depends i have to go back into analytics and see where pretty potent, potent left off music is always the thing of mine but podcasting and youtube was more so secondary i do enjoy it but you know ultimately i want my music to pop out i would hope first um I, um, it's just music is more natural and then it's less forced. You know, I just put out whatever I want, whereas with content, I was talking to one of my cousins who does content and I was like, everything is so curated, so aesthetic first. And I'm too, I'm not polished enough for that. I'm not even polished because I can be polished and poised when I need to, but I'm not going to be, that's too much. I'm not doing all that. I got two jobs. <laughs> I don't need this. <laughs> Quote, um, oh my God. Tasha, that, that was, that was her name, right? On oh, Everybody Hates Chris? I'm high as hell. Um, but at any rate, oh my God, to see her at the SAG after, a SAG after, like, striking for the actress, that is crazy. Like, the way these black people be getting done is in, like, show business. Especially the ones that are decent. Like, you got a lot of people, a lot of... I ain't gonna say that, because that's gonna come off like hater. When it's just the... I don't give a fuck it is true. You got a lot of, like, indecent, uncool, lame-ass, weird-ass, pedophile-ass. The list goes on as niggas and women that is i mean doing fine and flourishing it makes you question is karma real for real now nah, i did find out it is good <laughs> i mean i'm just saying refer to like what <laughs> karma, um, poof how do you do me <laughs> but at any rate um nah so i i just i don't know i'm going back and forth for content um what else um so that's the that's the main goal figure out okay we're doing podcasts we're doing videos we're doing both um what are we doing with there um, I got some trips coming up, so I'm thinking maybe do some travel vlog content, see how that goes, maybe. I don't know. Um, I also like to be in the moment, though, so I don't know about that, but maybe get a little stuff. I don't know. Um, excuse me. Um, life updates. Whew. So, like I said, mention, or like I mentioned earlier, I work two jobs. Hmm. Oh, my God. The goal is, within the next few years, get the hell out of where I stay. Um, there's definitely worse places to be, but, um, I've longed to, to have something different and interact with people who are different. Sometimes a small town breeds small minds, and that's what I don't necessarily care for about here. Even down to, there's so much potential but the good old boys, you know how that goes. So we will be having a 13th and 14th McDonald's. 
as soon as those land plots fill up <laughs> or free up because ain't no need to get nothing new <laughs> but yeah so that's why i'm at now um one of the themes in crimson contemplations is betrayal um um you can find it in certain songs for sure so i'm not gonna get too deep on it but the situation i just went through was like so unnecessary so like what did i do to you type shit and it's one thing to do that to people in personal passing to f with them let me say this it's one thing to f with someone but to f with their livelihood is something i will never forgive never so the fact that that was done to me once again and probably the reason why Crimson in here in the first place <laughs> but um i'm in that place of rebuilding I'm just kind of stacking up money. I definitely need a break soon, like I mentioned earlier, but that's what life is. Um, I did just have my septum follow up. My doctor said I'm going to start working out, so that's why we're eating this bullshit tonight. And then, um, let me see, what do I work tomorrow? Two to seven. I think I'm going to have, um, there's a gym that my fam goes to, but I got to be there with them so I can get on the list. Um, but probably for the first few weeks, I mean, I have a um, friend that wants me to go with him, but probably, um, to the gym, but probably for the first few weeks, I'm just going, there's a treadmill out there. I'm stuck it out on that. Um, plus, you know, get acclimated and stuff like that. Cause, ooh, I mean, this is story time for another day, but y'all, the one time I tried to get is... <laughs> Um, an ups, an, 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 uh, an oopsie happened. The one time I tried to get it on, um, and that was awkward. So I, I was scared into um, virginity. <laughs> so yeah, I um, and so I was talking to one of my coworkers, and she mentioned there's a lot of nerves in your body that are you know hit on intimate areas, even though they're not intimate. And she mentioned the nose is one of them. So I said, okay, that makes sense. Why I've been so uh, since the surgery. So I've been ready to Okay, let me stop. So anyway. Um at any rate. Um not I thought my lock was a bug when it hit me on the arm. Um when this thing is perfectly fenced in, I will give I didn't know that. Roxy! What the hell? Destroy that stuff. All right. Love you. So, um, yeah, that's life right now. Looking into getting back into working out, trying to stop this. <laughs> I know me, though. Once I start working out, I will. But I'm not going to, you know, anything that's going to. Um, hinder my progress. I'm not gonna, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna still drink, but you know, I'm not gonna um, be ne necessarily nearly as much as I was. And then, thank God, like caffeine kind of does the same thing alcohol does for me if I need to kind of chill out. Now, if I'm just pissed the fuck off, well, then no, it's uh, on the rocks, straight, no chase. <laughs> but you know, if I've had a mildly annoying day, mm, caffeine, a little matcha green tea, take that edge right off simmer me down but at any rate um so yeah and, and then as far as music um that's the next update i have i just um moving forward you know like i said I'm working on videos i was talking to my cousin earlier this kind of ties into self flowers because i'm gonna thank him real quick because he gave me my flowers on the project and um, we're actually kind of like he sent me a track that he and his brother are working on and it's pop um it's like I actually, he, um, we was roasting and the, you know, I talk, y'all know I talk shit. So anyway, we was roasting or whatever. Um, he said something to me. So, you know, I'm gonna say something back. And I was like, okay, little Clover Valley Uzi. <laughs> but the song that he sent me, it did kind of put me in the mind of little Uzi from the little. 
I haven't listened to him much, but from what I know of him, it does put you in that mindset. The song that he said, I liked it. Um, but um, we were both talking about, you know, getting more diverse with our music, not just sticking to one genre, music videos and all that. So hopefully we'll be able to cook something up for y'all this summer because we'll start working, then we'll stop, then we'll start. And, and you know, <clears throat> could be miscommunication, but also adulthood is very time consuming. Like, it is. <clears throat> These two jobs is, oof. Y'all, there was one time I worked, I had two jobs and I worked 21 days straight. And some of the jobs, I worked both of them. Like, I come to the one job morning to afternoon and then come to the other job afternoon to evening. And it's just... American dream. Bootstraps. Tired. Um, so, at any rate, a bunch of bulls. Um, so, yeah. Um, tying into that though, so sell flowers. I'm gonna give myself my flowers. Um, cause I did this. I did the damn thing. I'm proud of myself for branching out, trying new genres. Um, I'm proud of myself for getting more comfortable um singing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got the best voice in the world, but you know, I can, I can do a little note now. Don't play with me. Check out Heartless. Um, I think that's the one I'm most proud of vocally, followed by Make It Look Easy. I just wish I could have did the layers a little different. I remember when I was recording, recording around low, <clears throat> um, which I think I mentioned earlier, and Make It Look Easy. Um, it's weird. So, like, not to be too TMI, but with the septum, sur uh, septum surgery, one thing that I wish I had known was the drainage is real. Like, I would just be talking to people, and if I cough, I think it's a regular cough, and... <laughs> I gotta catch my mouth, uh, which I cough like this. Uh, but every once in a while it happens, you know what I'm saying? You cough and you forget to cut your mouth, whatever. Um, a chunk of nose just comes out. It's just casual. Bloop. <laughs> so, or I'll blow my nose thinking it's a regular blow. Chunk of nose. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> a bunch of gross shit. Um, so, yeah. Um, not to gross y'all out, but hell, I'm the one eating, man. I'm talking about it, so I don't give a fuck. But, <laughs> yeah, I, hell, I lived it. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's on top of everything else that's been going on. That has been frustrating in the background. But I um ended up actually getting sick when I was recording some of this. So I was like, bro, what the fuck? Because, um, you know, for the last few years, uh, not years, but months, it's just been drainage. It hasn't really, I haven't been sick, sick like that. It's just been the drainage from, you know, now everything's opened up. But, um, yeah, neither here nor there. I'm going to have to reheat that because, y'all, I one thing about me, I eat hot food hot and cold food cold, and that sandwich done got too room temperature for me. But, at any rate, I, um, yeah, I, um, lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, let me sign up. <laughs> sorry, y'all. I really am sorry. Oh, my God. Gross. Sorry, y'all. Um, I'll have a little cooth next time, but right now I'm, I really am like a don't give a fuck shit. And it's bad enough I got to do that in person a thousand times a day. So sorry that y'all had to see that. Um, but I, um, that's real life that's been going on for the last few months. But yeah, that's what I was saying though. So y'all want to get my summer flowers. I, I um, went places I haven't went before in music. Um, this is definitely a prelude to what more of my music is going to sound like um, as far as content matter, as far as um, stretching the genres, merging of genres, which I've done that before, you know, here and there, like, you know, Get Away on Revision, Volume 1, and um, P for P, or Pay for P, on uh, Sag Season. You know, so there are records there that are, you know, not straight up hip hop, but definitely looking into more of that. Um, on these next few re uh, um, releases. Uh, right now, it's just take a break and um, chill out, enjoy the drop. Um, and also, y'all go check out Always on the Run, as well as Sick of Floating and Overdose. Um, those also are an inclination of kind of where I'm headed musically. Um, now, Mentally Checked Out will be a little... You know, it's okay. I mean, if y'all are going to watch this movie or video, y'all do not be supporting me like that. <laughs> but <laughs> um, the project, <laughs> um, it definitely has some, uh, what's I finna say? It's definitely similar to Crimson in terms of like what, um, like the frenzied 
nature of it. You know what I'm saying? Like Crimson, one song you're gonna hear pop, the next one you'll hear this. Um, and that's kind of where I wanted to paint, or the, the mindset that I wanted to paint to the listener listening to that project, as well as the ones that I have coming up. You know, um, especially with adulthood being one of the biggest um, portions of the discussion of the project, you know, and acclimating to that and how my journey with that has been. Yeah, it's going to be up, down, and all the way around. Is it worth it? Let me work it. The one thing now, flip it in reverse it. It's your friend, never friend, never friend. Yeah. But thank y'all to those who have supported Crimson Contemplation so far, as well as those singles. Please do check them out. Um, I'm really proud, like I said, for myself as, and also my vulnerability. You know, like I've, I've talked feelings in music before, but, you know, I address some very heavy stuff, especially like on overdose. Um, and sick of floating and confronting that and being vulnerable enough to put that out there. That was a big step for me, you know. This light skin, don't be sensitive like y'all be thinking we do. <laughs> I really don't. Like, um, but yeah, I don't, um, mm, I don't really got much else to say and I don't want this movie, I mean, this uh, video running over too long before we run into, I just don't post nothing at all. So, um, yeah, as far as the outro goes, y'all go check my shit out. Go support me. Yeah. Um, always on the run is out. Um, goals for the summer. I at least want to get one summer music video, but first, y'all gonna have to let me get back in this gym. Let's see if I can size down a bit. Um, one thing about me, once I start losing weight, it, it loses everywhere. So, uh, well... Yeah, yeah, it loses everywhere. So, you know, give me a couple months to get this body together. And then, um, we might see about a summertime music video. But if not, I'm down for a fall or winter, too. Because I, I think I have songs that fit um, in all seasons. So, especially on the upcoming project. Um, but, yeah, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Like I said, if y'all find an affordable beat website let me know put the link down below if y'all know some affordable videographers let me know um let me know it's time to go so yeah um on that note i am about to go catch up on jujitsu kaisen and i will see y'all in the next video and or podcast and or music release peace out